Pistons traded back up into the first round and took Marcus Sasser, the four-year guard from the University of Houston. Um, there's a lot of people calling that potentially the steal of the draft. And the truth is, Braylon, we really don't know. I, I wish I could sit here and tell you that I'm so happy that the Pistons got Asar Thompson, this freak athlete who's this elite defender that is going to grow into the steal of the draft and be this athletic freak that is going to set the tone and this, that, and the other thing. I have no idea. We don't know what the competition is like in the overtime elite G League or whatever the hell it is. We have no idea. This kid is four, five, six years away from being anything uh, in the NBA, and that's not his fault. That's just my impatience. It's a very young team. I think Marcus Sasser, uh, just playing four years <laughs> in college basketball yeah. for a guy like Calvin Sampson uh, that can shoot the ball, will probably, to me, make just as big of an impact, maybe more of an impact early on in his career because of how seasoned he is. You know, one of the things I talked about yesterday is I was talking about Troy Weaver. Troy Weaver is going to have to start finding these diamonds in a row, kind of like Brad Holmes. I said I want some of that Brad Holmes, what he's doing with the Detroit Lions, to, fu- to, to rub off on what Troy Weaver Keep and the Detroit me. Pistons ahead, are ahead, the, this guy right here are, are doing. And it seems like they had yesterday I was talking about who are going to be those guys in the middle of the draft that are grown men that are going to come in right now like Caleb Martin for the Miami Heat or Gabe Vincent that can contribute to winning basketball? Marcus Sasser is one of those guys. Hami Hakez is the guy that I pick. But Marcus Sasser is one of those guys. One pick after the Lakers. One, one pick, pick after the Lakers. It. You I, called that. I called Lakers. Guess I what? The heat, the heat know what they're doing. 100%. They know what they're doing. what I'm talking about. But it seems like Troy does, too. You look at the University of Houston. They've been a they've been one of the best teams in college basketball for about the last four years. He's a four-year senior. They were in the national tournament. They were national championship two, three years ago, I do believe. So this is a guy that can play.